Hi, this is Steve Harris. I got something new and fun to show you. I'm going to show this to you in the dark, but first, in the light, it is called a Luma Noodle. It is a flexible, it's not really a, a rope light because it's like a half moon shape. And uh, it's got magnets on the back of it, so it'll stick to your car or anything else magnetic. It's got these great hooks I'll show you in a minute for holding itself up. But it's infinitely flexible to the point where you can roll the whole thing up into a tight little ball like this. In fact, they put this thing into the bag and then people carry it like a lantern because the bag makes it diffuse. But it's 180 lumens. That's the brightness of a good tactical flashlight on a weapon. Um, I know there's thousand lumen ones out now, but still that's a good brightness, 180 lumens. It's not too bright and it's more than bright enough. But believe me, there's too bright. And this is a fine, ouch! My cat just jumped up and hit my knee because it was moving underneath the table. <laughs> Anyways, I don't edit stuff out like that here at Harris Labs, but here we, uh, <laughs> he probably thought I got shocked. Well, it's impossible to get shocked off of anything here. This is a 12 volt battery. You can put your fingers right across it. It's not going to hurt you one bit. You're not going to get electrocuted or anything. It's running down here to the cigarette lighter, to a cigarette lighter to USB adapter, and the lumen noodle is plugged into here. But I'm saying it's 180 lumens, two and a half watts. So it's really going to run for a significantly long period of time off of batteries. And what batteries do I mean? I mean these batteries, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to run off a car battery like I'm doing here. Look, here's the Pronto 12 I showed you. Shove the thing, shove it in here and away we go. Oops, sorry, got to push the on button. <laughs> Another camera blip. So it runs off of the, the Prano 12. Here's the famous lime fuel battery that I love so much. Again, the difference is the Prano 12 is indestructible. It's crush proof. Sorry, my camera keeps on zooming in on its own. It's got a mind of its own. So here's the lime fuel battery and it works just fine. Here's another generic USB battery. It works fine off of that. So this is a Luma Noodle and it's very affordable. And it comes packaged like this, like an MRE or like a freeze-dried meal. And all you do is just open it up. Famous last words. Open it up. Pull it out. This is the bag I told you about that it comes in. Pull it out. And what battery do we want to use? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There we go. It lights up. So, Luma Noodle, a great thing for you. Also available is this little 4400 battery. This is 13,500. This is 15,000 milliamp hours. Uh, this one is 22,500. This one is 4400 milliamp hours. But notice the difference. Fits in my hand. A lot smaller and there's more. This one has a flashlight on it but it's a pain in the rear end to turn on and off. I'm never sure if I'm turning it on or turning it off. Again I'll show you this in dark in a second. Uh, this little light has a built-in lantern mode to it. Here let me kill the lights here. Look at this thing. It is more than bright enough. And the thing is this is in your pocket for your phone when you just need one or two charges. You don't want to carry along this. This is in your pocket, it's like, whoops, I need some light. You pull it out, you throw the switch, and you got instant light. But get this, watch this. I'm gonna flip the switch in the other direction. See those three little lights? See, here's four lights, here's three little lights. It's one, two, three out of four, meaning this thing is at 75%. When it goes down to two out of four, it's at 50% battery power. So you instantly, instantaneously always know that what is your state of charge of your battery. And that is key to preparedness, knowing how much is in there. You just can't look at that battery and say it's half full or three quarters full. It's very hard on a lead acid battery. You can look at a bottle of water and see how much you know water's left, but not in, in a lead acid battery you can't. Of course, this is a lithium ion battery. 
and things are a little different here and here you can tell how much you got in here so oh I was going to show you this in the dark so let's plug this back in here and voila there we go this is a Luma noodle in the dark spread it out this is a kitchen table with a white canvas cloth on it and I have plenty of illumination for whatever I want right here plus I can always take the other Luma noodle and plug it in and now I got two of them going at the same time so this is it guys this is a little extra thing I'm going to give you an option to get a bunch of the Luma noodle and I'll show you some pictures of it in a second and the 4400 battery they'll be listed below be sure to pick them up in my combos and save a ton you are really going to enjoy all of this it's all 100 percent harris approved also if you just turn this thing on like this in the dim mode it makes for a nice little night light doesn't take up much energy gives you who i'll show you wait up my power's already off here we go you can see oops get that light out of here you can see it's just on dim mode here's on lantern mode yeah bright here's on dim mode so just enough so you can see where it is and if you got something right here you want to work on on low power it will do it for you thank you here you guys go I wanted to show you both luminals are running at the same time and they're both running off the Prono 12 um, it was really wrapped up tight and it took me 30 seconds to unwrap the thing which is not conducive to the camera forgot to tell you one Luma noodle is two and a half watts these two running is only five watts so one Luma noodle on the 4400 will run for six hours one Luma noodle on the Pronto 12 will run for about 26 hours and one Luma noodle on the Limefield battery will run for about 30 hours so we're talking even even off of this in one lumen noodle man if you're trying to work on your car at night and you're on the side of the road this is a solid state option that won't burn out on you that will give you enough light to do it and like i said it'll hook up to the it's got magnets on the back of it neod neodymium magnets so it'll stick to the car really good so great package great stuff harris approved you're gonna love the heck out of it talk to you guys later it's me again. I keep on thinking of things that I forgot to tell you. The Prono 12, I'm charging it up here for the first time from all the way dead to all the way charged because I showed it to you dead um, and how well it works when it's dead. But just think about it. One hour of charging on this. I said the Lumino would run for 26 hours off of this. One hour of charging on this would give you the Luminoodle for... 26 hours just one hour in this for 26 hours of aluminum noodle light i mean if you ran aluminum noodle for eight hours a night that's three nights of illumination off of one hour of charging off of this thing and i showed you how to charge it off a car which is awesome and quick which you can do in any third world environment so one hour on this is going to be three nights of aluminum noodle illumination which is all you need for a tent or a hut and or one hour of charging on this is seven days an entire weeks of cell phone power and as i told you all aluminum <laughs> yes i know i mispronounced that but it is crush proof and durable as all heck you're gonna love it hey just so you can get an idea of how versatile this is i got some photographs here to show you of the luminoodle being used in actual real world applications so you can get an idea of how you might be utilizing it yourself here we see someone utilizing it when they're camping their tent is actually on top of the vehicle and as i said this thing is really versatile it's got magnets on it powerful ones so it'll stick to the side of your car or your vehicle like nothing this is what's called lantern mode. You simply take the Luma Noodle and shove it back into its diffuse bag and you turn it on with the battery in the bag and you carry it like a lantern. Nice and keep it simple. I said I was going to show you this in the video and I didn't. These are the universal ties. They're like infinitely reusable zip ties. They, it just goes in a circle and it goes through the hole and it can hold up a Luma Noodle on about anything in two seconds.
As I said, it's got built-in magnets, and this is what they look like. Nice and simple. Speaking of simple, this plugs into a USB port upside down or right side up. Either any way you got the connector oriented, it will go into any USB port, and it will light up no matter which way you plug it in. This is a lot more than a light for a table. Here we see it, pretty well photographed, being used in a camping situation where it's lighting up the campsite and the work area pretty darn good. And again, this is lantern mode. It's in the bag and people are playing cards at the table. It's lighting up everything nice and easy. As I said, 180 lumens. Doesn't this look like something you'd like to do? Lay in a hammock at night, read a book in the wilderness, and have your luminoodle light everything up for you. Yeah, I never thought of this, but I guess it would work really good. It'd make one hell of a light for you if you're riding your bike. You just take that little 4400 battery I showed you, and like I said, it'll light up for six hours. Are you going to be riding your bike for six hours at night? I don't think so, but visibility is safety. If you've ever had to open your hood at night on your vehicle and try to find out what the heck is wrong and do it with a flashlight, then you'll appreciate this photograph.